Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. I got another flight of my CX-20. Um, you saw my last flight, I had a little bit of an incident there where it did an automatic flyback because the battery died. It was either the battery died or I had flown out of range. I was out about 250 meters from my position here, so it could have flown out of range also. But uh, the accuracy of that flyback wasn't very good. Now I've let this sit here a little bit longer um, after gaining that green light, hopefully to gain a little more, a few more satellites to make sure that um, the satellites are sufficient for uh, return to home. Now for today's flight, I'm going to be flying mainly in manual mode, okay? Not in any of the automatic modes. I want to see uh, how smooth a video I can get with this quadcopter in manual mode. I notice, notice that it's the video is kind of choppy when I'm flying in automatic modes. I want to see if the video can be improved by flying manual. And with that in mind, let's turn on the camera. Okay, I am unlocking the uh, blades, or locking, that's locking, that's unlocking. Let's make sure that light turns hard red. Okay, we should be good to go. Let's go for a flight in manual mode. Entirely in manual mode today, folks. Unless needed to go into uh, automatic. Now, that battery that I had before, remember that uh, battery I was flying with that was swollen? Well, obviously I had to get rid of that battery. Right now I'm flying with the battery from my uh, V303 quadcopter. Just seeing how that works with this quadcopter. They were both 2700 milliamp per hour. Both 11.1 volt. It's just that the uh, their shape is a little bit different. Um, to prevent wobbling in the battery bay, I've put a little bit of foam around that battery to take up the, the space that the uh, thicker battery of the uh, CX-20 uses. This seems to be flying well in manual. <laughs> And well, getting good distance too in this manual mode. It's fighting a crosswind up there, it appears. Flying great in manual mode. So again, you know this quadcopter. Don't you know compared to the V303? This is more of a manual flyer. This one. <laughs> um, you really need to have some flying skills to fly the CX20. You. This is not for beginners. I've. Even the V303 is not for beginners, but the V303 is much more easier to fly than this one. Uh, this one has automatic modes, but I don't rely on them for this quadcopter. Boy, it's got great range, though. I am not going to... Well, what I'm going to do here... I'm trying to keep it in manual mode as much as possible. But in a little... And shortly, I am going to go do a return to home just at because I was curious about the uh, accuracy of that return to home after that last incident that I had. I haven't done a return to landing yet that was successful. Okay, I'm about done. I'm satisfied with the manual mode flying of this. It seems to be doing well. We're off in the distance there. I am going to go into one and two, or uh, zero and two. And do a return to home. You ready, folks? Let's go into hover right there and see how the return to home works. And I'm going to be ready to go back to manual if, if it acts up. We took off from over there. Remember that, folks.
I'm not sure it's returning to home. Oh, here it comes. It's taking its sweet time, though. <laughs> I guess I was pretty far distant. Let's see how accurate this return to home is. It's almost overhead. overhead it's coming down just to show can you do it can you be as accurate as the V303 There we go. Return to home of the CX-20. I knew you could do it. <laughs> okay, lock ya. Okay, that's my flight. It was mostly manual today. I just wanted to uh, test it out. Um, it's, I'm using, again, the uh, battery from my um, V303. I got a feeling that the battery was the issue that was in there. I had damaged it using... I was using the stock char charger it came with the 620. Uh, I'm now using, I do have an IMAX charger, but I wanted to, you know, demonstrate what you get. And I got some concerns about the charger that comes with this quadcopter. Um, I've also used, for this battery, I've used the charger from the V303. Let's get that battery out of there. Um, the charger from the V, that comes with the V303 seems to be a good charger. And not only can you charge um, these 11.1 volt batteries, but you can also charge the um, uh, lower 7.4 volt batteries, such as for the uh, V262 and the um, Tarantula. So it, it is kind of a good charger, at least it's working well with this battery, the V303 battery. So this is Quadcopter 101. Let me stop that video. Okay, Quadcopter 101, with another review of the CX-20. I demonstrated manual mode flying, and then I demonstrated return to home, return to landing. It actually worked. Okay, uh, the quadcopter, there's no problem with the quadcopter. I think the problem was the battery that I was using. It was causing uh, weird voltages. Who knows what it was causing uh, hiccups to the quadcopter, causing the quadcopter to do. So, Quadcopter 101, signing out.